Connor the Crusher being mm -hmm. the first man, first child, first person, first individual with the uh, Ultimate Warrior Award uh, into the WWE Hall of Fame. You know, this is a great story. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I got to know Connor. He's a, more charisma than any of us in the studio. Uh, tremendous uh, little boy, you know, obviously passed away at age eight, uh, terminal brain cancer, but he, he lived life to the fullest. I'm always gonna be forever. It's the best thing I'm ever gonna do in my career to help be part of the movement of getting him to meet Dan O'Brien and, and part of the WWE family. But I'm gonna say this, I am surprised they did this. A couple of people had asked me before this announcement, they've been asking me for the last few weeks, do you think they'd ever put Connor into the Hall of Fame? Because they, they've done so much to remember him. And I didn't think they would because they do so much work with so many kids and so many charities. Unfortunately, some people are going to think and act this way of, well, they put Connor in, well, what about my son or daughter who, who got to have an interaction with John Cena or what have you. It, it, it does become petty. I'm certainly very happy for Connor. I, I'm happy for him, happy for his family, happy for his memory and legacy. It's going to be a great moment. I'll be uh, cheersing him uh, with some J. Lore wine on Saturday night in, in San Jose. But I am surprised because I do think this is going to open up some, um, some debate amongst people uh, of, of how does WWE move forward if they're going to continue this award. There's already, it's already a topic amongst wrestling fans of uh, the lack of criteria of getting into the WWE Hall of Fame, and now when you're bringing in people's children, it, it always just gets, unfortunately, it's yeah. just, it, there's always a negative side of things. And I think there's always a negative side of things, but this needs to be shined on the positive side of things, because this is an award for somebody, obviously, um, you know, who fought to his very last breath. This is something that touches even the most cynical types of people, something that everybody thinks and everybody feels this is a great thing for Connor, a great thing for his family, and what better way than in Pittsburgh, his hometown, Monday Night Raw this past week. It was just a, a great feeling, and as much of WWE WWE gets bashed, or if you say we suck up or kiss up to WWE, this is some of the good things that WWE does, and, and you, you take everything away from it, the storylines, people leaving, all, all, all the nonsense that goes through on a week-to-week -week basis, this is the reason why I love WWE, and the reason why WWE continues to be the benchmark in Make-A-Wish Foundations, children's charities, etc. If you want to hear the rest of this conversation, see the cast members getting beat up in the ring, and get behind-the-scenes footage, make sure you subscribe.